Introducing the Collop eMark, the world's first app-based mobile printing device. Compatible with iOS, that's iPhone and iPad, version 11 and above. Android with Google Play, that's phone and tablet, version 7 and above. However, it may work with older versions. Also compatible with desktop, that's your PC and laptop. We recommend Windows 10, however, it may well work with Windows 7 and Windows 8.1. So what do you get in your box? Well, you have a choice of black or white e-mark. There is a three color ink cartridge. This is an HP cartridge made specifically for the e-mark. You can expect around 5,000 imprints from one cartridge. There is a charging cable. This is specifically for the eMark and should only be used with the eMark. There's the USB cable and this is for those of you that prefer to use the desktop version. There is also your um, quick setup guide. This also contains your unique SSID and password so please keep this safe. Information about the cartridge and technical information. We've taken our e-mark from its box and we're now ready to insert the cartridge. But before we do that, let me just talk about what the e-mark comprises of. We have the e-mark, we have a docking station, a protective cap and the battery. The docking station, a very, very important part of the e-mark. You will see on the back. There's your um, port for popping your charging unit in, or your charger cable in there. Also, you will see that there is a tank here. This houses the print head and keeps the print head from drying out. So every time you've done an imprint, we recommend you pop your e-mark back onto the docking station. So how do we put the cartridge in? You remove the protective cap. Take the battery off just like so and then on the underneath there is a door. We need to open this every time we want to pop our cartridge in or take a cartridge out. This is very important. So we do this by putting our thumb underneath, underneath there, finger in, pushing down. Then we take our cartridge and it should be in this position when you're putting it in. That little bit there needs to touch the back of the e-mark or the front of the e-mark. So we're ready to insert, so push that in and with your thumb push it in nice and tight. Shut the door and then turn it over just to check that it's all nicely flush. If your cartridge or if your print head is looking like that and it is ever so slightly raised but that is enough to give you imperfect imprints. So your e-mark will not give you the quality of imprints that you require. So to rectify that, I'm just going to push the cartridge head very slightly down. So if you just watch what happens to the print head when I do that, that is now nice and flush. We're then going to pop our battery on, click that into position protective cap and pop it, pop it onto the docking station. So we're now ready to charge our e-marks. So we will use the cable that came with it. No other cable um, can be used for this. And we are going to, I'm going to pop, if you can see what I'm doing with the cable, I'm going to pop that into the docking station um, port, just like so, push that in. And then I recommend that you turn your e-marks on. Now, because yours will be brand new, you'll either have a red light, which means that um, there's no power um, at all um, in your e-mark, or you'll have a yellow or amber light, just as I have here. And that is flashing. That indicates that your e-mark is charging. That is exactly how it should look. 
we recommend that you charge your e-mark for between four and five hours for a really good charge. After that, you can either leave the charger cable in, so as it's continuing to charge whilst you're using it, or if like me, once you've turned the e-mark to the off position, remove the charger cable, and you can turn your e-mark on again, and it's ready to use. So now our e-marks are fully charged and we've inserted our cartridges, we're ready to connect. Now if like me you've decided to download both apps from either the App Store or the Google Play, then you can choose um, which one you connect to first. So it doesn't matter, but if you're using both apps you will be, need to be connected to both apps and your SSID and your password will be exactly the same. But I'm going to connect to the eMark Create first. So make sure that your eMark is turned on and also choose your language, select your language. Mine is English, so I'm just going to click next to there. And then once you've read and understood the Wi Fi information, just click there and then click continue. The eMark does have its own Wi Fi, so it's a two way connection eMark app, app. E mark making connection nice and easy so now we need to put our SSID and our password in you find this on your e mark quick setup guide so please do keep this somewhere safe so if you turn that over you will notice that there is your SSID and password now you'll notice on the create app that it says create yet on the e mark setup guide we have e mark no worries there, all we need to do is delete the create. And then we type in there eMark. These SSIDs and password are case sensitive, so please do be careful when you're um, popping in your passwords. So that's my SSID and now I'm ready to put my password. Every eMark has its own unique SSID and password. So now I'm ready to connect. My eMark is on and I'm just going to turn mine round so as you can see what happens to the eMark once I connect. Connect, I'm then asked to join, so I'm going to join. And watch the back of my eMark. My eMark has turned blue on the back right here. That indicates that it has now established connection to the app. So we're now ready to actually commence. So I'm going to click on next here and it's now asking me to do a test imprint. So we do this by clicking on the send imprint to eMark. That beep beep means that the imprint has been received by the eMark. So I'm now going to do my imprint and there I have my test imprint so now you're ready to start